drink beer, it's good for you. Hello and welcome to the video. Within this video I'll be showing you how to alter any beer recipe's alcohol level without destroying the beer's intended balance. After all, if you simply reduce alcohol without balancing your hops, then the end beer will be much more bitter than intended, for example, and the reverse will be true if you increase the alcohol. I will be demonstrating this with the very popular Brewfather software, but the methods shown here can also be applied using other types of brewing software too. This will be shown step by step and once you know how then you will find this to be a very easy process to follow for the future. So let's get started. For this example I'll be using my recent West Coast IPA recipe which by standard has an estimated 6.6% ABV. I will also be referring to the webpage version of Brewfather as this is the version that I'm demonstrating with. If you are using the mobile version then I feel that you will still find this very easy. You just might find things are in a slightly different position. To get started I suggest that you make a copy of the recipe that you wish to convert which is easily done by clicking this duplication button down here in the bottom right of your screen. This will create a total copy of the recipe as you would expect. The name of the recipe however will not be copied, which is a good thing as I see it as I strongly suggest renaming the recipe with something meaningful so that if you need to refer to it in the future you will know exactly what it is just by its title. This will save you time later. Then move across to the top right hand side of Groovefather and look at the BUGU section as shown on screen now. Make a note of this number. As you can see in this case we have a ratio of 1.01. .01. This is the ratio of bittering units to gravity units which controls the balance of your beer. The next step is to head to this handy OG box which is above the fermentable section on the left hand side of the screen. OG is short for original gravity which determines the amount of sugar density within our wort that our yeast can turn into alcohol. For this example let's say we want to reduce this beer down by about 1% ABV. Then a good starting point is to simply reduce by 0 0.0100 of our gravity. So we click onto the OG and a box comes up lower down on the screen for changing. The current OG as you can see is 1.0619 so let's make this 1.0519 instead. By making this simple change we now have an estimated ABV of 5.5% which is close enough. This can be seen on the top right of the screen but for ease I have added this onto the screen to show you here. To say we want to reduce this more then we can go down another 0 0.0100 making this one's predicted gravity 10419 which you can now see has reduced this beer by a further 1% ABV resulting in a 4.5% beer. So we have now fixed our ABV, however if we now look back at our BUGU ratio you will see that this has gone sky high with a whopping 1.74 ratio, meaning that if we leave this as it is then our end beer is going to be incredibly bitter and thus will be totally unbalanced. So we now need to restore the BUGU ratio to its former and intended level of 1.01 .01 by tweaking our IBU. Brewfather has a button that allows for fast IBU changes as shown on screen now, which is positioned under the style statistics box at the top right hand side of the screen. Clicking the IBU button brings a value entry box up like we saw with BUGU, so let's look at the changes of IBU with an easy format for viewing. I'm going to take a stab guess here and predict 42 IBU, but as you can see we now have a ratio of 1.00 which is too low. Let's try and get the extra point now with 43 IBU, but we now have 1.02 which is of course too high. So the winning number now just has to be 42.5 IBU and you can see now that we have the design balance of a BUG ratio of 1.01. .01. So as you just saw this can take a little trial and error but in principle this is very easy to do. This method will also work if you wish to increase your ABV level too. Before finishing this video I do want to share some important further information with you. When applying this technique I suggest that you do keep in mind that with certain styles this may not be totally to the individual's taste. Each beer style has a certain range of ABV which is popular simply because this is what has been found to taste best. 
You can see these style guidelines within Brufarver, which share suggested ranges for each of the vital statistics, including ABV, as you can see on screen now. However, it is fair to say that taste does vary, so experiment for the taste that you desire, of course, within the ABV that you also wish to have. Furthermore, if you wish to convert a beer from a style that is usually at least fairly high in ABV to something very low, then often it will require a fair bit more than just this to actually work well as a beer in its own right. In the case of the recipe used in this example, which is a West Coast IPA, I suggest that you should be fine reducing it down to 4.5%, but I would not suggest going down any further than this for average taste. Ultimately though, because taste varies so much between person and person, you are best advised to brew a smaller batch first to test your concept in any example. With my tried and tested recipes that I share online, the chosen ABV is based on what is considered right for the style and combined with my testing for the best overall end taste. I do hope that you found this video useful, informative and interesting. If so, why not consider liking and subscribing? For further support you can join the channel's Facebook group, and if you would like to support the channel then check out the channel's merchandise store, as all profits go back into the channel. Until next time, happy brewing!